Okay, everyone, as you can see, our GT hey, podium congrats, man. from today's sailing six hours of the Glen. Coming into the media center now. Before we get started, we should say that today's race winners, Robin Liddell and John Edwards, Stevenson Motorsports, number 57 Camaro, they'll also leave here as the leaders in the North American Endurance Championship points going into the finale at Indianapolis Motor Speedway on July 27th. We'll go ahead and we'll start uh, with our uh, third place team in GT. Ima Lasentado, Jeff Siegel, Anthony Lazaro joined uh, Emil and Jeff for this event. They're co-driving the 69 AIM Autosport Ferrari 458. To get a quick opener, Anthony, first up. Tell us about joining these guys for this event. Uh, well, it's obviously uh, nice to be with them. I was with them at Daytona actually last few years, and uh, I was here a few years ago with them as well. So uh, it's nice that they give me a call. Um, fortunately, they have a, a nice little Ferrari to drive now, so I had a, a real good time. and. Uh, Middle, middle part of the race for me was uh, pretty uneventful. All right, thank you. Emil. Well, it's great to be on the podium. We didn't look like we were going to get here in the middle of the race here, but uh, pretty exciting. Anthony did a great job. Jeff did an epic job in the uh, car today. It's just uh, a thrill to be here. I had a good, good first stint, kind of short. Thought I was getting in again, but we decided to leave the, uh, the chores of the younger guys for the rest of the race. All right, and Jeff, and, and I believe you guys have retained the points lead in GT overall, but uh, good season continues. Tell us quickly. Yeah, um, it, it was a messy race. Um, I had a little bit of contact earlier in the race, um, which, which shouldn't have happened. Uh, for a variety of reasons, it shouldn't have happened, but the reality is I shouldn't have taken any chances, and that really put us behind um, at our next pit stop. We took a lot of extra time to repair the front of the car and make sure that, uh, that none of the bodywork was going to fly off and that the radiators were okay. Um, lost a ton of track position, and then from there, we had to dig ourselves out of a big, big hole. Um, just you know, had had a lot of work cut out for me working through traffic, and it took the better part of two hours. But, um, you know, here we are. The way it worked out at the end of the race was great. Uh, a little close for comfort on fuel, but uh, happy to be on the podium. It was a, a really good day for our Ferrari. All right, our runner-up team in GT, number 94, Turner Motorsport, BMW M3, uh, Bill Alberlin, Paul Dallalana. And for this race, Billy Johnson joined uh, this great tandem. We'll hear from each of them. Billy? <laughs> Go ahead, Billy. Give us a quick opener about uh, this race today. Well, it was a long and exciting race, and uh, the Turner crew did an awesome job giving us a very well-balanced and great handling BMW. Paul did an awesome first stint, and uh, I worked on it during the, the middle, and Bill drove his uh, butt off at the end and uh, made a really exciting race to watch. Paul. Yeah, I've got to say, I'm, I'm having some regrets about letting uh, John Edwards buy me in the middle of my stint. I, I saw, you know, that would be the nice thing to do, the right thing to do at the time, but uh, I didn't see Robin giving the favor back. So in any event, uh, I got to say, as always, uh, great to see these finishes and, and you know, we've, uh, we've had a nice string of uh, results here. So I, I think it's, uh, it's really nice to see the range of, of players. I know uh, there's been a lot of adjustments recently and it seems like all of a sudden we've got uh, a bunch of competitive cars that can really, uh, can really go for it. So we're happy to be part of it. And Bill. Wow, that was a, that was a tough race at the end. Uh, I mean, if ever a plan went to perfection, this was the one. I mean, we had a driver lineup, and it never deviated. I mean, because it was almost a green race the whole way, so we knew how it was going to go. Paul started, perfect. Billy got in, then Paul, then Billy. I mean, it just went, and it just went perfect. And we climbed our way almost to the top, but there was Robin. And he should have just, he should have returned the favor. I mean, I thought he was going to. That's why I never tried. But no, he's amazing. I teamed up with him before, and you knew there wasn't going to be a mistake. I was hoping somebody was going to get in the way of him, and, and then I get a run on him. But every time they got in the way of him, they, they got in the way of me right afterwards. So uh, it was a fantastic race. And now we're coming off of a, a win, a second, a second, and we're getting our, our sea legs at the, the last part of the season. All right, and our race winners, Robin Liddell and John Edwards, they co-drive the number 57 Stevenson Motorsports Chevrolet Camaro. We've seen them on the podium throughout, and now they're the winners, and they're also, as I mentioned at the outset, the leaders of the Endurance Championship points, North American Endurance Championship points. First win of 2012, 11th overall for Stevenson. Each of you give us a quick opener about the uh, effort today. 
Um, well, I mean, it was, as Bill really summed up very well, it was a pretty fraught race. And, uh, you know, we obviously we had some adjustments coming in here. The, the Camaro, this is probably our best track over the course of a season. Um, fortunately, we have two races here, which helps. But um, <clears throat> we had a strong car all weekend, good balance. We did have two uh, blowouts on Friday and Saturday in qualifying after three laps. And we were pretty nervous about uh, that sort of thing going going into the race, but fortunately, uh, I think we made some adjustments, and uh, you know, we I felt fairly as confident as I could that we were going to keep the tires under us. And I think the tires performed pretty well in the race. So um, yeah, I did the opening bit, and uh, everything was going really well. Me and Jordan were running quick laps. He led the first stint, and then I got the jump and led from him. And then, uh, unfortunately, on a restart, we got a stop go, which I thought was a bit bit uh, questionable really from the part of the tower because you know there was clearly contact and I thought a wreck going on on the left hand side when you see a restart taking place and then tire smoke brake lights and and you know smoke and whatnot and cars checking up and getting out of shape you know there's something happening so you pull to one side and you continue as if it's a start I got halfway alongside the 75 and uh, I guess the tower decided I should get a stop go for that so I was pretty hacked off about that to say the least and uh, anyway we managed to fight our way back up through really worked the car very hard to get back up to I think about fourth or fifth John took over um, the AC and the bl helmet blower failed for him, and uh, he then ran an awesome stint holding, uh, you know, uh, getting more positions, getting super hot in the car, just hanging on, trying to give me a decent chance at the end so I didn't have to do a massive long stint. And also he was doing a super job saving fuel just so we could get back on course to where, where we needed to be after the stop go and all that kind of thing. So he did a super job. And then obviously I finished out and with Bill on my tail, I mean, you know, Bill's just like gonna grab it and hang on and just shake you to death. So, but I was sitting there thinking, I remember coming out of the boot thinking, look, Bill, you've won one race this year already. Just give us a break. Would you just let me win this race for Christ's sake? <laughs> but fortunately, um, it was every time we hit some traffic or a slow GT out the pits or a DP that was coming behind us or something, every time I got screwed and then he got screwed and it just seemed to work like we evened ourselves out. So it worked out perfectly. And I uh, have to say, great job by the guys. Running the two cars this weekend for Stevenson's always a big task, but they did a brilliant job with both cars. Yeah, obviously a, an extremely tough race. Uh, you know, very hot today and, and, you know, perfect day for a six hour in brutal heat. So um, Robin did an incredible job, uh, you know, keeping the car up front uh, at the beginning. And um, it was too bad we got, got that stop go, which uh, I don't feel we deserved either. And, uh, but Robin just put his head down and came back from that. Um, started moving up positions. And then when I got in the car, tried to save some fuel and, um, you know, and, and ended up bringing the car back in the lead. So um, it, it was a really tough stint for me. I did did three fuel runs, and it was the first time I've ever seen a Grand Am race go two hours and 15 minutes without a caution. So uh, it, it did make it tough physically for me, but uh, we were able to bring the car in in the lead and, and be very close to uh, to where we needed to be on fuel. But uh, Robin ended up crossing with half a gallon in the tank after that, that caution. Um, uh, made us few, fill a little early, so we were we were extremely nervous as we uh, as Robin did that last lap. I don't think I've ever been more nervous in my life because uh, I figured he wasn't going to make a mistake. So I figured we were either going to win or, uh, or or run out of fuel and be stuck on on the last of the lead lap. So um, fortunately, half a gallon stayed in the tank and uh, came away with the win. Questions for our GT podium? We can take a couple questions if we have any. Any questions, please? Sherry, go ahead. They issued a technical bulletin yesterday. How were the tire wears today versus uh, Friday, Saturday? I know there were some issues. Uh, well, obviously, we, we blew two tires during practice and uh, qualifying. Um, so we had to make some adjustments um, before the race just to, to try and avoid um, any issues. So, um, you know, the tires stayed under us and, and we're, uh, we're performing well as far as uh, pace is concerned. Um, but we did sh see a little bit of hint of blistering at the, uh, the end of a stint. So, um, but we were able to run competitive lap times all the way through a stint. So I was pretty happy with how the car felt on the tires throughout a stint. Um, but we, you know, we still need to be careful with, with this car on how, 
on how aggressive we are um, with the inside of that rear tire. I, I got a different take on that. Uh, I drive, we, we've all driven a lot of cars with a lot of different tires. I'm not kidding you, I'm coming out of three races where this tire does not drop off at all. I can run it as hard as I want in mid-Ohio, in uh, Elkhart Lake, and now here, and it just keeps on trucking the whole way through an entire stint. So I'm, I gotta tell you, I'm really happy with the tire. I don't even get one for free, but. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, um, you know, we had uh, we had to obviously take care of the tires uh, earlier in the weekend. You know, we we had noticed some some blistering, especially as the the temperatures got hotter. Um, today, the track conditions were really really difficult. Um, you know, very fortunate that the tires worked very very well. I mean, very consistent. Um, kind of like Bill said. I mean, you know, as the fuel burns off, the car goes faster, and that's how it's supposed to be. So, uh, really really tricky conditions, but um, you know, fortunately, all went well today, and uh, you know, compliments to. Continental. All right. Do we have any more questions? Uh, we're going to take one more. Go ahead, Joe. Yes. I, you probably you may have said this, but were you aware of how close you were on the field in the last lap, and what did you do to uh, save it off? I just hoped for the best, really. Yes, I, I was aware, and uh, I kept asking the guys to let me go to map two just so I could get a bit of a break from Bill here. But uh, no, we went to reserve with two laps to go. And uh, I was a bit worried about running or you know, coughing or something coming up out of the boot. You know, once you've got so much hill or gradient in the car, I thought might, we might cough or something like that might happen. But like John just said there, we were kind of basically just hoping for the best at that point. We didn't know we were going to pick up that little fuel in the in the tank. So I think we finished with 0.55 of a gallon in the tank. So really good job by the guys. I mean, everybody was, I think, in a similar boat at the end. I, th I know everybody was stretching it out, but you can either look like a hero or you can get it horribly wrong at that point in time.